Hello, I'm Joseph Lee. I'm a graduate student of chemistry pursuing my PhD. Currently, I am specializing in renewable energy under Dr. Jonah Juris. As a chemist in the Juris lab, the aim is to serve the needs of many by producing earth-abundant molecules known as catalysts to reduce greenhouse emissions into a respective energy source. So today, I want to share with you my energy research and the endless possibilities in store for you. In our society, energy is an essential part to our success. When we wake up, we brush our teeth, we check the football scores, we get ready, and then we drive to wherever our daily routine goes. All of these little tasks can be accomplished due to having the ability to use energy. In 2013, the Energy Information Administration predicted the use of energy to increase by 56% between the years of 2010 and 2040. This energy increase will be due to the improving technology and the future developing nations. On top of this increase, 80% of the current total energy relies on a carbon material known as fossil fuels. The primary source of fossil fuels is rapidly depleting, thus making energy a global concern. On top of this scarcity, a greenhouse gas known as carbon dioxide is generated and released into the air when we use fossil fuels. Increasing concentrations of greenhouse emissions will have detrimental effects if not kept in check. In chemistry literature, reports of reducing greenhouse emissions is a possibility. However, doing so requires precious metals such as platinum or palladium. Notwithstanding progress, scientists have looked to nature for the ultimate inspiration. After looking for some time, scientists have considered a biological cycle in plant life called photosynthesis, a blueprint that nature has perfected, and an economical alternative to reducing greenhouse emissions. With this design, the amount of energy humanity requires every year can be produced by the sun in one hour. Inspired by natural photosynthesis, new earth-abundant catalysts will absorb energy given from sunlight and reduce the respective greenhouse emission into a reusable energy source. This proposes an energy-efficient neutral cycle and will subsequently remove the potential effects of increasing greenhouse emissions. In the Juris Lab, we have already developed a first-generation earth-abundant catalyst with incredible results at reducing CO2. Currently, we have proposed a second-generation catalyst in hopes to improve everything from the first. I want to personally thank you for taking the time and listening to the research that I perform at Ole Miss. Thank you.